What's cracking with you, YouTube? It's your man, King Howie. We back. Sorry for the, uh, the absence from, uh, the channel. Um, as all of you know, may know, the, uh, tragic incident with Kobe Bryant kind of had me not really into talking about anything for this past week i'm still shocked and devastated by what's happened with the uh, tragic passing of kobe bryant but that's not why we're here we're here because the season is finally over the football season is finally over and the kansas city chiefs <laughs> are your super bowl champions um I won some money. Shout out to me. <laughs> Just like I knew it. I knew they was fool's gold. I knew they were. I knew the 49ers was fool's gold. But um, on a brighter note, you know, they had a good season this year. So uh, shout out to San Francisco. And uh, now we have the Kansas City Chiefs as the reigning Super Bowl champions right now. Um. Congratulations to Andy Reid. I know EDP going to be mad about that. He probably already put a video out. I haven't really been checking my phone. I've been in Malibu all day. I didn't even get a chance to see the game. I just know that uh, once it was all said and done, I was smiling again. After all of the crying of Kobe Bryant passing, you know, I was happy to see a small smile. I was happy to, you know, see Kansas City put a smile on my face. So thank you, Patrick Mahomes. Um, to my stand, my stalker, my stalker, you know who you are. <laughs> You're mad. You're mad. Be mad all you want. Um, doesn't change a thing. You know, San Francisco is San, San Francisco. Uh, they're five and two. With uh, two back-to-back -back Super Bowl losses. You know, they lost with Kaepernick, and now they lose with Jimmy G. Did y'all really think they was going to let Jimmy G win the Super Bowl after Tom Brady won the Super Bowl? Come on, man. Come on. Did y'all really think Jimmy G was going to win the Super Bowl? Did you see the... Did, 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 did you did you see... Did you, did you see... Could you see Jimmy G winning the Super Bowl? You know, I looked at some of the highlights after the game. One thing I want to point out, why did Kyle Shanahan decline a penalty? Why did he decline a penalty and give them a fourth and two and then they almost scored? I don't understand that. A lot of weird shit happened in this game. I'm just looking at the highlights. Uh, what did I tell y'all about that Kyle Shanahan offense? It's just designed to turn the ball over. That's what it's designed to do. Kyle Shanahan, choke artist again. He was in the Super Bowl with Matt LaFleur when they lost to the Patriots. He's a choke artist. And a funny thing, funny thing about the Super Bowl, my brother, my brother had called me. And he was like, man, I heard you put some money down on the Chiefs. How you think they're going to win? I was like, I think they're going to attack Richard Sherman. I think they're going to line. I told him specifically, I think they're going to line uh, Travis Kelsey up over there, Tyreek Hill, Hardman. Um, I think they're just going to keep attacking Richard Sherman. And from all the memes I'm seeing, <laughs> I can't wait to hear what Darrell Revis is going to say. Hold on, man. It's down. There we go. I can't wait to hear what Darrell Revis is going to say on Twitter because uh, I've been getting hit all up in my inbox. People have been hitting me up talking about the game. Uh, but, and then I told them that that number one draft pick that they picked up, you say come up with a game plan to beat a team the number one draft pick that they picked up, I knew he was going to clog the damn middle of the line. 
to where the 49ers couldn't go nowhere but run sideline to sideline, even though they did do a good job running the ball. But when you have Jimmy, Jimmy G, Jimmy Glitch, not throwing the ball in the last two games in the divisional round and then in the championship round, he not throwing the ball that much because y'all relying so much on a run. What is he going to do when you need him to throw the ball in a crucial situational moment? Another thing, too, why didn't you give Mozart the ball again? You, you started running the ball with, uh, I'm looking at the stat line, I'm like, how the hell does Tevin Coleman have more carries than Mostart? What the hell was going on in the game? And what it boils down to is Kyle Shanahan choking. That's what he does. That's what he's, what he's going to be known for as a choke artist, a Super Bowl loser. Uh, so shout out to the 49ers for beating the Packers for nothing again. This is the second time you guys have done that. Y'all beat us for nothing. Um, and uh, I don't see y'all going back to the Super Bowl next year. I don't see the 49ers going back. I think they're going to hit the Super Bowl hangover, and um, they'll they'll probably have a chance to get to the playoffs, but I don't think they will get to the playoffs. I think the Rams will probably bounce back in the division, or if not, the Cardinals or the Seahawks. Um, just watching, just watching, uh, the clips on Instagram of the Niners, you know what I'm saying, walking off the field into the locker room. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't, I don't think they're going to be able to bounce back from this. You know, um when you going into a game like this, you can't have outside distractions. You know, Richard Sherman is just such a, a loud mouth. Want to talk all the time ass motherfucker. Man, just play football. Everybody know you great, Richard Sherman. You don't have to get on the mic or go into social media, go uh warn with other people that ain't even that ain't even focused on on winning the damn. That ain't even playing in the Super Bowl. You arguing with Darrell Revis. You need to have your mind focused on stopping Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey, which you didn't do. Oh, thank God this season is over with and the and Super Bowl went to a deserving team. I hope you San Francisco 49er fans really, really taking a hard look at yourself in the mirror tonight. You know, all that shit y'all was talking. And now to play the biggest game on the biggest stage, on the biggest days of, they, uh, of that team's life. And y'all go out there celebrating, cheering. Yeah, we got 20 points. And it's like still the third quarter. You still got a whole fourth quarter to play. And then y'all just drop the ball. Y'all just drop the ball. That's Basically, that's what happened. Y'all just dropped the ball. Jimmy G, I mean, he didn't even want to run out of the pocket. What kind of, I'm looking at the highlights, like what kind of drop step is that? Man, you, you, you only taking a two step. You only dropping back two steps, bro. You just letting them come at you. But hey, if that's the way they wanted it to be scripted, that's the way they wanted it to be scripted, man. <laughs> that's all I could say, man. Um, but other than that, watch uh watching the um the, the highlights of the 49ers losing the way that they did, you know, it made me feel good inside. It made me feel good inside to 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 see that they were really truly fool's gold. And a fool's gold came out tonight on the biggest night. It was kind of like some Dallas Cowboy shit. The accident waiting to happen, and it happened. It happened tonight. I just knew it. Something deep. Well, you know, my insider gave me some. My insider told me some things. I just didn't want to put it out there in the atmosphere to have all of the trolls come into my channel. You said this and you said that. Hey, if you would have paid attention to what I said the last video I dropped before the Kobe Bryant video of me stating who I was going to pick, then I should have gave you the notion that I might have heard a birdie might have whispered in my ear like, hey, 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 this is who going to win. It's already scripted. So with that being said, don't lose no sleep, 49er fans. Please don't. I want y'all to be up all night thinking about the game, thinking about all the people that y'all got to pay, 
whoever y'all bet it or if y'all lost any money, you know, all of that. Oh, ye faithful and bang, bang, niner gang, all of that. I don't know why the hell y'all say that. That shit sounds so weird. E-40 drunk ass. <laughs> MC Hammer. <laughs> Yay area. Good night. <laughs> all that. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all's doing to that Packer fan. Now y'all getting a taste of y'all own damn medicine by not being able to to walk home or come back to California with the Lombardi. And to all of you 49er players that I'm doing, we're we going to win this for Kobe. Y'all have done Kobe a disservice. Y'all have done Kobe a disservice. Why the fuck would y'all try to do, why the fuck would y'all try to do something in the name of Kobe Bryant when he's an Eagles fan? The Eagles already did that for Kobe Bryant. San Francisco. See y'all next season.